Hey everybody, welcome and thanks for coming by again. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how I combine some elements to develop this uh, very attractive, what I think, very attractive helmet photograph. This is a goalie helmet, obviously by CCM, but that doesn't really matter. I wanted something dramatic and something that would work with the, uh, the shape of the helmet. <clears throat> As you can see, or you can probably see that I lit it from behind. That's why it's fairly dark in the front and it's lit uh, brightly along the edges. So this was suspended um, from a stand, a horizontal stand, and it was lit from behind. Behind, um, behind the helmet precisely was a black fabric uh, material, and then a light was behind that. That's how I get the rim lighting, as we call it. As you can see, this has smoke all over the place. This is real smoke, and unfortunately, I did not make the smoke. I did not, not have the tools to do that, so I found a couple images on unsplash.com, and I used those images. If you uh, followed a couple of videos back, uh, a few days back, I showed how I got these actual images together and how I arranged them. So here is the uh, final image here of the helmet. And what I've done is I've brought in one piece of smoke and I brought in another piece of smoke. Where is it? There it is. Like that. And I blended them in together and I made adjustments. So to do this, what I did was I masked off uh, the, the layer of smoke with a mask this is a mask down here a vector mask and then i paint it in using a brush and i paint it in on the mask to apply the smoke to exactly where i wanted i'm going to show exactly how to do that in another video but you can probably find that in some online um, instructional videos on how to use masks and how to brush in your element and as you can see Adding that smoke and the stark black background really brought the, the helmet to uh, a point of prominence and very, very strong three-dimensionality. Also gave it a very dramatic feeling, which is exactly what I wanted. So when I saw this helmet originally, before I even brought it into my studio, I knew exactly how I was going to do it because I knew it had to be dramatic and I knew I had to use smoke to help express that uh, dramatic character. If you want to uh, see how I actually do this step by step, let me know and I may do that in the future. This is Mike Taylor, Mike Taylor Photo Arts. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.